Hey guys, Laverne98 here with a new tutorial. Uh, now I say new because I haven't really done one since the Avermedia HD capture card videos. But I wanted to get into some new tutorials basically to help you guys and you know kind of share the experience that I've had throughout the years with gaming and all that good stuff. And the first tutorial I'm going to do is how to rename your Steam games. Now, as you can see right here, if you're at all familiar with the game on Steam, this is the Ultimate Doom. And I've renamed it to Doom Ultimate. Now, the reason I did that is because the Ultimate Doom is originally going to be all the way down into the T's. And I wanted it, because I'm OCD that way, to be up here with all, all of its brothers here. The Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, Doom whatever. And, you know, I kind of want it all in the same spot. Now, if you go on YouTube, you're going to see tutorials. A lot of times, though, when they say they're renaming Steam games, they're talking about the feature where you add a non-Steam game, going in, editing, whatever. Obviously, that's not what we want. We actually want to rename these store-bought Steam games. Now, there's two methods to do this. The first method, which I won't give any details because I'm not all that familiar with, is you go into the Steam folder. There's a file in there that you can rename. Uh, sorry, you search through it, find the game that you want to rename, and rename it. Now, the issue with that, at least from what I've heard, is that it's not a permanent solution. Basically, as soon as Steam decides to update itself, it will erase all the changes you've made. So, essentially, if you have a ton of games like I do that you want renamed, you're going to have to redo all those every time Steam decides to update. I didn't want that. So I I searched and searched, and this is the method I've chosen to use. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to rename a game I've been playing recently, South Park to Stick of Truth. Now, my OCD is definitely going off the chain here, mainly because of the trademark or rather the two trademarks in the name. So you have South Park trademark, the Stick of Truth trademark. I want to remove these and just simply have South Park to Stick of Truth. All right, so the first step to this tutorial is to actually go ahead and create a desktop shortcut. Go OK. Now, what you want to do is you want to cut this and store it in a place that you're not going to misplace it. Now, in my case, I have a games folder, emulators, ROMs, and Windows PC on my drive F. This is where I store all my games, my emulators, you know, all ROMs, all that good stuff. Uh, and I thought, why not keep all these in the same spot? So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Of course, I already have this one. And go ahead and uh, replace. So as you can see here down below, we have the South Park to Stick of Truth. So that's good. Next step, what we want to do is we actually want to add it into Steam. And we're going to go add a non-Steam game. And you can pick any one of these. For, the, for this purpose, unfortunately, Steam does not allow you to add, a, add in a desktop shortcut. So we're just going to pick any of these random ones here. For this purpose, I'm going to add Adobe Encore CS6. Go ahead, add. Next, we want to rename it. So we're going to go Properties. We're going to rename it. So in this case, we want South Park, the stick of truth. All right. So now we actually have to change the target. So it targets our shortcut and then the start and path. The first step is easy. All you got to do is grab the path. So in this case, you know, the games, emulators, ROMs, Windows PC, whatever, go copy. And we're going to replace right up. So from from your C, D, whatever drive, all the way up to the first slash here. Uh, we're going to paste that. And we're also going to do the same thing here at the bottom. So paste. That's good. Now we have to replace here Adobe Encore.exe with our shortcut. Well, for the shortcuts, this will vary depending on what version of Windows you, Windows you have. I have Windows 8. Windows 7, I believe, is the same thing. Uh, and Windows XP uh, is a different one. I'm going to show you how to how to find out with what extension uh, your version of Windows has. So you, you pick your shortcut, go Properties, go to the General tab. And as you can see here, it says Type of File. 
internet shortcut because in Windows 8 a lot of these are internet shortcuts and then finally dot URL so this is what we got to add here dot URL in Windows XP I believe is dot L and K Windows 7 I think it's the same as Windows 8 I could be wrong but this is something you have to find out yourself so it's dot URL so what we're going to do here is we're going to simply copy this now I recommend copying it especially if it's a long title like for instance Warhammer 4000 Dawn of War whatever whatever uh, you actually want to copy it just to avoid any confusions any mistakes that you make make uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to Steam we're gonna replace Adobe Encore with our game name and the dot exe we're going to actually put you are L because that's the name of our desktop shortcuts the uh, extension of that all right so that's it for that we're gonna go close and so as you can see here we have South Park the stick of truth or a stick of true <laughs> we, got, we got it actually there we go the stick of truth all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my PC category so it brings it back up here. Now, as you can see, we have two versions now of the South Park, the Stick of Truth game. We have the one we renamed and then the one that is the original. How do we get the original? Because obviously we don't want both. Uh, you got to right click on the one you want to get rid of, go set categories, and then hide this game in my library. Go OK. Now it's gone. Now. Let's say down the road you want the game back for whatever reason. Maybe you messed up on this step. Maybe you just want the original name back. All you have to do is go to Games, Hidden, find the game that you want, in this case right here, right click again, set categories, and then finally uncheck the high disk game in my library. And if we go back, it should be back where it originally came from, as you can see right here. So again, to hide it, we're going to go set categories, hide this game in my library, done. Now, the next step is, especially if you're using big picture mode, is you want uh, the uh, game to actually have the actual uh, tile. Now, in my case, I've already done this tutorial once, so it seems actually remembered that I've done this. But in, in your case, it'll be a blank. So what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to go on to, uh, let's see here. We're going to go to Steam. So I'm going to go ahead, steampowered.com. I'm going to pull this over here so you can guys actually see it. All right. So this is the cover right here, the grid, Steam grid, or whatever you want to call it. You're going to go ahead and save as. And in my case, I've already done this. So... I'm not going to go ahead and save it, but there you go. You go ahead and save that, save that image, go back to your Steam library, and then right click. Actually, let's go ahead and remove it first. So, this is what it'll look like. So, we'll go right click, set custom image, and we're going to go ahead and browse the stick of truth. Okay, set image, and there you go. So, now I guess the final thing is just to show you that it works. Now there is two issues with this method. The first one uh, is, as you can tell here, unlike for instance, uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior, for instance, uh, you don't have any of the recent news. Uh, if there's achievements, it doesn't show the achievements in the section here and all that stuff. Uh, that doesn't matter to me, mainly because I'm using this for the big picture mode. But for you, uh, it, it could be a potential issue. And if honestly, if you're really, really were desperate enough to see what achievements you have, you could always go into the hidden and uh, check them there. All right, so there's that one. The other issue, again, can be annoying for some, is when you go to play the game. So let's go ahead and play it. It uh, came up with fail to start, but I, th I think you can hear the game. It's actually loading up in uh, my uh, other monitor here. You won't see it on here, but it's definitely there. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit this as soon as it pops up here. gives me the option. Uh, I said if it gives me the option. There we go. 
Okay. So it does load up, and this works for all games that I've tried so far. Uh, but you have to put up with this little bit of a nag screen here. Uh, now, thankfully, I mean, in most cases, you're not probably going to do this for every single game you have on your collection. It's only for the select few that you want to rename. But uh, there we go. I mean, hopefully at some point, rather than doing all these workarounds, hopefully Steam actually comes out and gives you the option to rename your games. That would be great. But for the meantime, this is another option to rename your games. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. This was a Laburn 98 tutorial. And hopefully you look forward to the next tutorial. I don't know what it's going to be, but uh, it'll happen when it happens. All right. Take care, guys. See ya. Bye.